Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, this reading is going to be about love, okay? We're going to go from past, present, and then future. We're going to pull from a few different decks. Let's get into it. The basis of this reading, all right? So we're going to go from past, present, and future. So in the past, Aquarius, it looks like you were dealing with a very passionate relationship. Maybe one that was maybe filled with a lot of intimacy, sexual nature. Someone showing you how they felt by way of doing things with you, having sex with you, taking you out being very um i guess expressive of their love or their devotion for you but it all could have just been fun and games for them okay um maybe it, it was um a game or again fun for them to get your emotions involved in the connection maybe it made for a better connection better sex also you know so it's just in the past the relationship was uh just based on maybe um falling in love maybe a person likes to your person you Aquarius or the other person likes to make people fall in love with them or they like to um you know like uh, court them make people fall in love but then after they're in love they really don't want the relationship they really don't want the connection what they like is this here they like the the act of falling in love but uh, presently Aquarius you are the Okay, these cards came out. The sexless marriage and contracted an STD. Now, contracted an STD could just be, it could be that, you know, in face value. But it also could just be maybe a spiritual, a spiritually transmitted disease. Maybe you were dealing with someone and, um, again, it was very passionate. That's all they had to offer. Uh, maybe they brought you down spiritually. They were low vibrational. You were vibing high. But it looks like presently with these gray cards, you're at a place of just you know, placid, you know, calm, uh, maybe even indifferent, um, it's just at a place of serenity, you know, maybe some of you are abstaining from, uh, sex also, some of you could be in a relationship where there is no sex, um, but I'm also getting a lot of abstinence here, um, with the need to be abstinence, like refrain from having sex with anyone, um, because maybe you know you could contract an std or you have or maybe you're dealing with low vibrational people that all they have to offer is um sexual activity nothing more nothing less and uh, it could be risky business okay and also you can pick up um, those different spirits that you know you're laying with this person and you don't know who they're laying with you don't know who they're doing what with and you're just picking up all of that vibration all that energy and carrying it with you again spiritually transmitted disease so um, some of you also, you have stopped having sex with a particular person, your person or other people, because um, there was maybe an STD scare or it was spiritual for you. Maybe you started to feel low vibrational or out of whack or off balance or off kilter or extremely emotional when you shouldn't have. So some of you are reframing from uh, sexual activity here or the advices that you need to. And this is presently. In the near future, though, it looks like, especially for some of you who are doing the abstinence thing, Thing and not engaging with anybody it looks like you're gonna get what you want Aquarius in the near future um, we have the spoiled wife okay so in the near future it looks like somebody's coming in to spoil you to give you everything that you deserve everything that you want um, I'm hearing uh, recompense or oh, I hear recourse I don't know okay, so maybe you know just because you've been through the ringer You've been through trial, test, tribulation, and love. It looks like you're going to be the spoiled husband or the spoiled wife. Or you will, if you're a man, you'll be able to spoil your wife. You'll be able to be with somebody and it will feel good and the vibration will be there. Um, things will be calm, peaceful, placid. It won't be just about, you know, sexuality and, and lust and doing things together and uh, fighting and making up and it won't be all of that it'll just work uh aquarius we have an additional card here also um so this card is for i asked the question of why did aquarius meet this particular person whomever you're coming to the reading for 
And it's because um, maybe some of you were always in like a side woman, side man type of capacity where you never were the chosen one or you didn't get the title here uh, for whatever reason. I I'm feeling like it's because you didn't believe in yourself or maybe you led with sex or sexuality. Um, maybe you give off that friendship vibe. Um, maybe you were okay with friends with benefits and then down the line you wanted things to change. Therefore, you turned into the side woman or a side man. Um, that's the reason why, you know, you've met this person or people like this person. Let's see who you are dealing with, Aquarius. Let's see. Who is Aquarius dealing with? Um, what is the vibration, the energy of the person that Aquarius is coming to this reading for? okay dark male um now this could be someone who has a darker hue to their skin color uh different ethnicity than you or this is just somebody who has a lot of secrets again that sexually transmitted disease they have a lot of different spirits that you know are attached to them they're this low light low vibrational um, they don't have much to offer outside of maybe sex and sexuality. They know this. Maybe they're handsome. Um, they're extremely sexual, um, attractive, uh, a flight risk. They do not stick around. Uh, they don't know how to let the grass grow under their feet. Once they made you fall in love, they want to get gone. This is somebody who is acting, you know, purely in their carnal nature in the physicality of everything. So um, maybe that's who you were dealing with, Aquarius. Or Aquarius, man, maybe this is who you were in, in the past or this is who you are now. You know, um, let's see. Who is Aquarius dealing with? Um, true love, though. Okay. So maybe this person truly loves you or you thought this was your true love. Um, maybe this was the, t the test of trial um, that you had to go through. You know, you met this person, they have their flaws, you have yours. You you both need to learn uh, how to be together. You know, maybe even learn how to be together individually. So there is separation between you and someone, okay? Uh, but this is your true love. Let's see, triangle, this is who you were dealing with. Someone, again, that side woman, maybe that's why you met this person or you met people like this. Or maybe this is the vibration that you were always putting off. People just felt like maybe you don't have room for a real relationship. You don't come off as a person who wants something super vulnerable, close and intimate. Therefore, they put you in third party situations or this is just their nature. This is what they do to everyone. Um, so this is who you, this is the type of person you were dealing with. This is somebody who keeps up a lot of energy. They've got several different people. They've got people in the back pocket, the front pocket, back the back door. This is somebody who is just, you know, all over the place. Um, and they're not willing, or they're not wanting to make a decision. Okay. But this is your soulmate for whatever reason. Maybe again, there's something that you have to learn here. Our uh, soulmates are not always in our lives for the duration of our life or the, you know, um, the longevity of our life it's just maybe that this person came into your life to show you something aquarius to illuminate something in you fix you and then your true love maybe can come in or another soulmate can come in beauty queen so for some of you you're dealing with a beauty queen someone who has um their own platform they get a lot of attention they get a lot of uh emails and dms and they just get a lot of um maybe um uh, people vying for their attention again someone who's living their life you know publicly on, on the stage I guess we live most of us live our lives publicly through social media but th this is someone who is um like the epitome of that that little saying it's everywhere on different signs what live laugh love this is somebody who is literally doing that right um just having a really good life and it's public also um and again they look really good doing it so that's who you're dealing with. Some of you are dealing with a mature male. So someone who's old, older, maybe could be bald and going gray, um, has a lot of life experience, has been through things, knows things, could be divorced or never married. Um, maybe even wanting to be the eternal bachelor here with a mature man. Uh, yeah, again, someone who just wants an open relationship. They just want to come and go. Again, this is who you were dealing with. I don't know if something has changed about this person because now you have fair male coming up or this is you recognizing, you know, realizing that this is who this person is. They have always presented themselves in this way and I need to accept it at face value. I am not looking at something that is 
not like it is, you know. So that could be you, Aquarius. Um, you know how you're looking at something now with the fair male there. Uh, let's see why Aquarius met this person. Let's get a card to clarify in love with my side woman. So it's like, um, I don't know why you, you, you would be put in a third party. Um, I don't know if that's the vibration you were putting off. Dating. Okay, maybe, um, again, it started off as, you know, just casual dating. You were up for dating. Um, this also talks about lack of intention. You know, the universe just wants us to be intentional in everything that we engage in. Everything that we engage in. So set your intentions up front. And maybe you just didn't have any for when this relationship started. So you just started doing stuff, hanging out. Um, partying, traveling, having sex, whatever. And then it turned into, um, you know, it turned into you wanting something more or the other person wanting something more from you. Uh, therefore, it's like maybe this is a test of you being more intentional in terms of how you live your life, how you engage with other people. Okay. Because you could be dealing with people who just don't want the same thing as you. Maybe they present themselves as wanting the same thing as you or if your focus changed down the line and you didn't state that up front, then that person really doesn't owe you anything. So state your intentions up front, Aquarius, or vice versa, okay? Um, let's see what this person um, has got going on right now. How does this person feel about Aquarius? Whomever, that, whomever Aquarius is coming to the reading for, how does this person feel? Okay. So... Uh, so they feel like you're being irrational and you're El Cheapo. So either you don't have money or you're not, you know, spending a lot of money on them. And, and it could be about money. And then it also could just be about maybe you're not giving them the time of day, the, um, the attention that you used to give. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, you're not giving them the attention that you used to give. You're not giving them, um... You're not really talking to this person. They feel like you're being irrational. Maybe they even feel like your moves right now are irrational. Like they can't read you. Like you're just all over the place. Or they feel um, as if uh, what you're doing is is um, is not right. Or it, it's just causing for the, the breakdown of the relationship. Something about what you do, Aquarius. They just feel like that is just wrong. Or um, maybe you don't think things out. Maybe they feel like you're just being irrational in terms of not thinking things out. Uh, maybe you cut them off or you, you have a cutoff game that like is super erratic. You know, they don't know when they're getting cut off. They don't know if you're coming or going. So they just feel like you're irrational. Yeah, this person feels like maybe you just say anything. You know, you don't hold back. Um, let's see, how does this person feel about Aquarius? platonic yeah they feel like you put them in a friend zone or uh, maybe they feel like um you are a friend or they put you in a friend zone here um so it just it seems as if this person feels like you're not giving them the time of day with el cheapo um your moves how you move is irrational um uh, they can't read you and they feel like you're you're what you say out of your mouth it's just not governed you don't govern yourself or there's no yeah the, you don't hold back in terms of this person, especially if you put them in uh, like a uh, friend zone here with the platonic card coming out. How does this person feel about Aquarius? So this person can feel like you just switched up on them. Yeah, they feel like it's just theatrics. It's just like just going through the motions with you. Like you just want to be drama. You know, like you're on a stage again, the beauty queen. You feel like maybe um, you have other affairs that you're hiding from them. Okay. Um, they feel like... Um, Let's see. Yeah, they feel like you're hiding that stuff from them. That you, maybe you're you're taking your time, your energy, you're growing it somewhere else. You're dealing with someone new. Uh, let's see. How else does this person feel about Aquarius? So they feel like maybe you're telling them lies. They feel like you're very loving and you're resourceful. Okay. Something about next week here. Again, they feel like you just say anything and you're just being unfair to them. Okay. For whatever reason. Let's see how Aquarius feels about this person. How does Aquarius feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? Let's see. 
All right, let's see. How does Aquarius feel about the person that they're coming to the reading for? How does Aqu Okay. Okay, engagement ring. You feel like um, you want a part partnership, a commitment with them. Maybe you feel like you had to withdraw from them and kind of like walk away. Uh, almost like ultimatum. Or you're just not giving in. You're holding out for the engagement ring. You you won't accept anything less than, you know, um, a commitment, a partnership. Maybe they even, how you feel about this person is that you're going to marry someone else. I don't know. Um, abundance. Yeah, Aquarius. You feel that um, you can have, you keep a positive mindset about this relationship. Um, talking, interested, conversing, hovering. So maybe this person wants you to talk to them they want you to talk to them more or open up to them and you're not again some of you could have threatened this person with your presence like i'm leaving i'm gone um you'll miss me when i'm gone you know you'll ship up or shape out or what is that you know um shape up or ship out right um you're gonna get it right let's see healing heart so it's like aquarius you went away to heal from this toxicity this heartbreak um, you will, you're open to, you know, meeting with them, coffee cup and talking to them. Um, you do have an unconditional love. Um, and maybe you are falling in love or you have fallen, fallen in love with them with the kisses card. So Aquarius, you have a really good, you know, outlook on the relationship on this person. This other person just can't read you and they don't know where the fuck you going. Um, or, or where this is going here, but remember in the outcome here we had spoiled wife so some of you are just manifesting you know um marriage engagement a real relationship an abundance of love of talking to someone else or meeting someone new so it's just like maybe you you are in a place of aquarius where if this person just doesn't get it right it's okay you'll move on let's see what the future energy is for aquarius what is the future energy for Aquarius and then we'll see what the future energy is for your person Aquarius you might be meeting someone new main male number one man comes into your life okay um he is without title right now um but he could be significant you know let's see uh, distant horizons yeah thing it's like you're hoping wishing praying for get delving into spirituality and maybe even manifestation um type of energy to bring in your wish fulfillment bring in what you want um and it could be a partner here with the main male coming out uh let's see what else is going on for aquarius you, you find emotional stability by yourself right now too um so what's going on a concern so you can feel the energy of this other person not understanding where you are maybe even seeping i said seeping but maybe i don't know um, maybe their energy is seeping into yours or you can feel their vibration is low and they're kind of depressed or they don't know how, they can't read you you're standing your ground with them and they just don't understand this change because they never dealt with you in this way let's see yeah high honor so some of you could be getting public recognition that could be a wedding it could be graduating some of you are graduating away from a relationship that just wasn't going anywhere fast from this particular person that you're coming to the reading for it's just like maybe some of you are moving past that into maybe a more honorable relationship with somebody who is um better yeah family room so it's like some of you are going to have a family some of you going to be ushered into um, maybe even new places um new spaces new friendships new groups um, secret secret society also with the high honor in the family room here some of you could just be getting like um some real high knowledge about you know i don't know whatever you are studying um bad health here it's just like some of you are graduating from maybe a sex only relationship from something that just was no good yeah from a relationship that was hard work with the toil and labor Yep, I knew it. I knew she was coming up. And see, this is the counterpart to main male. So this was like a relationship that never really got off the ground in terms of a status change. Okay. In terms of somebody coming to you and saying, look, we we doing this. We boyfriend, we girlfriend, we're gonna get married, whatever. It was just a relationship where it was like, 
um, you guys were acting like you were in a relationship, but it was not real. And it looks like some of you just graduating away from that. That's going to be what's happening for you in the near future. Let's see what's happening for this person in the near future here. What's happening for Aquarius person in the near future? All right, let's see. Gift and sudden wealth. Okay, so all of a sudden, they're going to want to reconcile with you. Um, maybe around the next holiday, um, your birthday or their birthday or something like that. Um, all of a sudden, they want you back. Yeah, they're going to send you a message of concern. This person is really going to pull on your energy here. Let's see. Uh, maybe even take a journey towards you. Maybe some masculine energy will do this. Come towards you. Um, move towards you. They want to show you something. I don't know. Um, what is what's the what's the um message for this person's near future yeah they're stuck on you imprisonment here it's like mentally chained to you like can't get over you i think it's because how you just withdrew your energy and it was without conversation and it was without declaration of what you're doing like i'm leaving you because it, you know it was just like you just either gradually left or you just all of a sudden didn't return phone calls and just cut it cold turkey yeah this person could be spying on you false person um not showing their true feelings holding back still holding back still in their ego here um, but still can't get over you what is the uh future energy for this person courthouse being pesky petty also says the courthouse um just sending messages or moving about or doing things uh, maybe to get your attention post on social media talking to friends um sending you messages yeah in the near future coffin it's a no-go it's it's done i think this person will get the message why wow, else i say that at the bottom of the deck message that it's over it's done especially if they don't have the capacity to change if they don't want to change if they don't want to do better it's just like it's done Aquarius is not budging and this is what's driving them crazy what else uh, do we have for this person in the near future what's going on for this person in the near future happy all right so they could be happy uh, or they could be realizing that you make them happy what else is what's going on here complacent they're stuck they're stuck in that place of you know low vibrational they understand how sweet how sweet your nature is but um they're comfortable in low vibrational relationships and energy they know you're sweet and all of this stuff but uh they just don't have a they don't have the energy they don't have the drive to rise to the occasion or rise to your standards aquarius they understand that it's broken you know maybe the, the friendship the bond is broken uh maybe to never be repaired let's see what's the future energy for this person okay likable say like something about this whole situation you're likable um i don't know it's like they want to get get you back by making promises this is somebody who drinks too much um it, they're trying to be healthy or, or trying to make healthy choices again they're masking their their true feelings they could be something to, to where somebody is a beard or somebody does like men or women um this person is in fear you know they're they're acting out of fear okay and they're not making smart decisions smart in uh, the reverse and then we have reconcile it's like they want to reconcile with you they feel like your body is perfect um, they want growth with you um i don't know christmas could be a uh, significant something is failing or failure is happening here uh, the relationship could have failed but they're still studying you and they're willing to fight or fight for this um but it looks like aquarius you put them in you know you're like blocking this energy or, or you've put some type of healthy boundaries up and they are completely depressed about it and at the same time just plain old addicted to you because you or their um, security blanket wow and maybe an earth angel to them uh, but you were so quick to leave and that made them obsessive stuck 
addicted to you, but they haven't healed, but they're still waiting for you to come back. The universe says, if you take this person back, you are the hard headed one. And this person is a hard headed person because they just won't learn the lesson. They're still in that very seductive, mysterious, uh, low vibrational energy. Okay. Uh, and this person will even try to come back to you and maybe even propose marriage. But at the same time, it could be a lie. Um, let's close this out with some advice for Aquarius advice. No, I don't, I don't think that's a good deck for this. Advice for Aquarius. Advice for Aquarius. Advice. Okay. Friendship. Yeah. Keep them in the friend zone. Um, friends could also help you find someone new. Wow. So say that the courting man, someone who wants to date you exclusively, uh, a man who's about his business in and about town, people know his name, blah, blah, blah. Obstacles. Um, so you might have put this person in a friend zone. It's funny because the current obstacle talks about maybe the universe putting obstacles blockage between the two of you so you can both individually learn something and then come back together and i think we said that at the beginning of the reading so that could be for some of you and for some of you it, it's just that this person is an obstacle a hindrance to maybe um all good things all new things children children are maybe playing a part in this or keeping you stuck in some relationship there was a breakup in the past this could be a past love what's the advice for aquarius family all right children family past love here oh some of you maybe in a past life you had this um, type of relationship with this person or in the past when you were dealing with them you wanted this you wanted children you wanted family um it's just gonna be hard work and maybe you just need to focus on your work right now and maybe even travel uh this this also indicates someone who travels for work and this also talks about somebody who gets around the hand of destiny. Okay. So for some of you, I don't know. It's like the universe is really going to step in here. Cause it's like for some of you get your own personal reading, um, with me or any other reader or pull your own cards or whatever. For some of you, this is your person, but there's a lot of issues, transformation that needs to happen that hasn't happened and someone hasn't grown and someone's still petty and someone's still low vibrational. The other person, it's like a twin flame type of situation here where one person is choosing the twin flame journey and the other person is running from it. Okay. And have not, they haven't grown. So Aquarius, the advice here is just continue to work on yourself, do your work. Uh, the hand of destiny will step in and maybe, you know, alter some things shift around okay uh, maybe there will be travel for you you could meet someone during travel travel romance is indicated there also or you need to travel with somebody who wants to travel with you um don't sit and wait for this person still live your life because if they never get it together then you've wasted time years energy the one thing we can't get back is time so use your time wisely don't waste it if somebody just can't get right but you know that this is your person let it go go the other way and whatever happens on in that other way it happens okay and if the person does rise to the occasion they know where to find you aquarius but don't wait for anyone and, and um no one should be waiting for you if you just aren't ready either you got engagement ring coming up again uh somebody that you just thought was just an outright liar or fraud it was like they were just they're coming out of maybe fear of missing out like they're coming out of fomo um maybe even coming out of some relationship that they were in coming out of hurting you i don't know aquarius for some of you this person really does want to marry you but it's just about them tackling their own issues and if they have not then they'll carry that into the relationship and you'll be right back at square one so you have to really make sure that this person has changed if you are still open to past love if you are not you have somebody new coming in in the near future you are the spoiled husband spoiled wife you will be dating uh, the hand of destiny is going to bring somebody else in um just keep moving keep going uh, don't stay 
stuck and still for somebody who is not moving and definitely not moving in your direction. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Also, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a collective reading, and then you can also ask questions. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.